Have you guys ever been out on the trails and watched a Jeep or some form of 4x4 rig flop on its side or just completely flip upside down or even tumble down a hill getting completely destroyed? Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Trail Built, and if you have ever wondered how some rigs seem to tip over so easily while others, well, it seems they're nearly impossible to flip, well, make sure and stay tuned as in today's video, we take a close look into the reasons why some rigs are well balanced out on the trail and some, well, let's just say you can find more stability at a mental institution in downtown Las Vegas than what you can find in some of these not so stable rigs out on the trails. So make sure and smash that subscribe button so that way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. Ready? Let's go. Also guys, in case you haven't already heard or are just tuning into our channel, right now until September 4th, you now have a chance to win a set of five Raceline wheels. That's right guys, you now have a chance to win one of the best wheels in the industry. Any color, any size, any bolt pattern and cast aluminum for your Jeep, truck, SUV or off-road buggy of your choice. Best way to enter is by clicking the link in the description or by heading on over to our website at strobiltoffroad.com forward slash giveaway and grabbing yourselves one of these exclusive Raceline t-shirts. When it comes down to it, having a trail rig, whether it be a rock crawler, overland rig, mud truck, ultra four car, or any other off-road rig for that matter, driving a vehicle that feels way more stable than unstable allows you to not only feel more confident behind the wheel, but it is also safer and less prone to getting damaged. Plus, allows your vehicle to better perform over obstacles and keep you moving down the trail. A well-balanced and stable rig is one of the largest areas of focus for not only the guys and gals building their own rigs, but for suspension manufacturers as well. And for good reason. If you guys ever search for a suspension system on our website, you will see that we carry some of the best suspension brands on the market today. Companies like Icon Vehicle Dynamics, Rock Crawler, Terraflex, BDS, ReadyLift, and that's just to name a few. But we purposely have selected our suspension companies to carry on Trail Build Off-Road because of their quality, performance, and reputation of having some of the best performing quality kits on the market. And that is because there is a lot of risk that goes into modifying your rig suspension. Imagine being off camber with your rig basically dangling in the air and all of a sudden one of your control arms breaks. It just splits in half and comes apart. Well, what do you think will be the next thing that happens? Well, your rig loses its balance and the next thing you know, you're flipping end over end, side over side, time tumbling down the hill, and when you finally come to a stop, if you're not already severely injured, well, your rig will be. And that's more of an extreme situation, but you guys get the point. Suspension component failures could cause catastrophic events. It's the same reason why these suspension companies spend so much time and money on research and development to allow their suspension systems to perform at their peak performance while flexing out on the trail, keeping your rig balanced. When a suspension can articulate or flex, it allows the chassis or body of your rig to allow it to be more centered or to allow the center of gravity to stay more centered, preventing or minimizing what is known as body roll, which I'll explain that in a minute. But if you have a stiff or underperforming suspension system and you start climbing a rock or an RTI ramp with, let's just say your driver's side tire, and before you even get slightly up that rock and you start lifting your rear driver's side tire, well, the next thing that is gonna happen is your whole rig starts tipping towards the passenger side and that is what's called body roll. Body roll happens after your suspension has already done its job. It's where the suspension can no longer absorb the obstacles you're trying to traverse and the energy gets transferred from the suspension into the chassis of the rig and there is enough inertia of energy transferred up into the rig, it will then push the weight of the rig past the what's referred to as center of gravity or also known as a tipping point. And that is when there is no point of return and your rig now flops over on its side or worse. Having a high quality, high performing and well balanced suspension is just one of the biggest reasons of why some rigs are more stable than others. But equally as important is knowing where that tipping point is and balancing your rig to keep the center of gravity as low as possible while still maintaining adequate ground clearance for the trails you run. Overland rigs, for example, that tend to carry more gear in turn more weight than though, let's say your typical weekend warrior rig, have to be much more considerate of where they place their gear in their rigs. Too much weight on the top of the roof will in effect 
cause the center of gravity to move upwards, causing the vehicle's body roll to be much greater, especially at highway speeds. It's the same thing that happens when you install a suspension lift. You have now changed the original manufacturer's intended center of gravity that was designed to keep the vehicle stable and have now created a situation where the center of gravity or tipping point is greater and if you don't know your rig's new balancing point, it could potentially create a highly dangerous situation, not only for yourself but for the people around you as well. The good news is, even if you alter the center of gravity, you can combat the negative effects with a few different or combined modifications. One of them being that you could increase your rig's track width, either with wheel spacers or more negative offset wheels, or swap in one-ton axles to widen the track width and increase the strength of your drivetrain as well. The wider or farther apart the tires are, the less likely your rig is to tip over. There is also increasing the size of your tires to gain ground clearance and modifying the fenders and the suspensions up travel while maintaining your rig's factory suspension. These mods will keep the center of gravity low, keeping the rig stable and still allowing for greater ground clearance. That is if you don't mind cutting into the fenders. The other option is to make sure you know where your rig's tipping point is or at least where the edge of the tipping point is and plus when you're packing your rig full of gear to make sure you are keeping the weight of the heavier items as low to the floor as possible and the other recommendation is to pick up one of our quality suspension systems on our website that has been developed for your specific make and model vehicle and will provide a well-balanced and high-performing experience for you and your rig. Also, one more point to remember is guys, for the sake of everyone's safety, make sure you and your passengers fasten your seatbelts. Guys, it only takes a second or two to strap in and who knows, might just save your life from those unexpected situations. Also guys, we know that there is a whole bunch of you who have either seen someone flip their rig or maybe you have even experienced it yourself. Either way, make sure and let us know by telling your story about what happened in the comments below. Other than that guys, don't forget to get entered to win a set of Raceline wheels by clicking the giveaway link in the description and grabbing your Raceline t-shirt today. Also guys, make sure and smash that subscribe button, thumbs up to like the video, and as always, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys back again shortly.